Hello and welcome to the Fern Capella Astrology Forecast for Saturday, August 4th and looking into the week ahead. Well, we have so many things going on all at the same time that to me this speaks of extreme urgency. And urgency doesn't always have to be a bad thing and urgency also does not have to stress you out. Urgency comes about so that we face in look towards the issues that we have to evolve around and take those leaps. And if we didn't have these urgent moments where we uh, aren't really allowed to look at almost anything else but the, but the problems or the issues at hand, then we wouldn't really be going towards them and changing and getting to the next phase. So we are at one of those incredible epic crises that everything is sort of at a standstill besides the spiritual evolution that is needed to take place and all of us as humanity are sort of taking everything that isn't important and it's all laying to the wayside as we as we look into this major focus of what our needs and desires are some of that is in this long process of acknowledging and uh, seeking what our concepts as a collective consciousness, what our concepts of success are, and what our structures and stabilities have been, what our patriarchs have been, um, what our uh, archetypes have been, and seeing how those have served us and also how those have not served us and then uh, we are watching and contributing to the crumbling away of the parts that have not served us so uh, this is potentially feeling like an unstable time and in general and then at moments like this like this week uh, so many things come into play that really aggravate or intensify that instability because it's pushing it forward and uh, we do just have so many things at play one major focus for us is getting our center with our family and with our partnerships and so we're definitely um, feeling the pressure and feeling the pull towards getting some kind of gr common ground in this sinking swimming uh, sand pile um, that we're living in in the collective consciousness right now as we're trying to figure it out together, um, we are feeling this much more intensified urge to partner with someone and to get a sense of what our individual family focuses. Um, and uh, there is that's going to come into play with the larger picture. So really getting locking in your home environment and locking in your um, peace of your place of peace and your people of peace that you can find around you is really important in this time and um, you'll find that until you do that you have a lot of energy and a lot of uh, aggravated desire to get that done so you might as well lean into that um, lock into uh, focusing on what you can bring to the partnership and what you are looking for and really make that happen so that you can get in a space where you are sort of in a um, a safer and more uh, well-rounded place to approach the rest of this humanity situation if you're already in that kind of partnership definitely it's the time to be honing it and making it a realistic platform to survive the next few years together and um, also you are probably getting on common ground and um, finding places that you can uh, really get into comfortable habits and get into places that you feel safe and to have some trust with each other that seems important um, and as we're watching this m larger uh, platform that we've been standing on kind of corrode away beneath us, we are finding 
uh, our own contribution and our own um, magic that we can offer to the larger picture as we rebuild this new and more effective and more uh, generous and more viable world consciousness together again. Uh, and so right now you're kind of combing through what you're good at, what you bring to the picture, what your creativities are, what your brightness is, and how can you really shine as an individual in this larger uh, picture. And so I, I would not be shy with that. I would explore on all levels anything that um, that makes you excited about life. Um, often I'll tell a, a budding artist, that um, who don't really know yet their own um, artistic uh, medium, I will tell them to look at um, other people that make them excited and other look at the art that turns them on and see what inside of you is uh, getting turned on and see if you can pull that out. Recently, I learned how to. Um, I started drawing art. Uh, drawing um, animals and people and stuff like that and I felt really successful at it and before that I had totally cut myself off from that being something that I was good at. So um, then I came into the light and um, found something that I was good at that I didn't realize I was before and I had always thought of myself as more of like a word artist and instead I could also be a visual artist and those are the things that we need to kind of come into ourselves like can we cook can we um, are we good at fixing cars and mechanics um, do we like to rehabilitate like old homes um, or spaces uh, what are we amazing at it's really time to focus on that and get that going and also uh, imagination and bravery are two really important things in that puzzle piece for finding your own excitement in life and also the same thing with the partnership because really that that is the basis for all other interaction is is you having your own passion and, and, and excitement about life um, and what you have to offer what you have to bring and it also helps to influence what you're looking for so those are some of the things that are going to be coming up for us now is how do we strike out and um, find that uh, in the midst of this, how do we find our own light and how do we find the bravery to expose that to others. Um, and some of that is being like a child and just being um, and not really worrying because the whole uh, the whole structure is shifting and changing and new archetypes are being formed and you might be one of those new archetypes You just don't know there's really no judgment to be worrying about at this time because it's all falling away anyway So anything that you come up with is beautiful and it's really important to, to just shine inside of that really that simple innocent and joyful light that uh, we look at a turtle or a, a grasshopper or a cat or a plant and we notice how incredibly beautiful it is and we never judge it for its little mars and its little problems we see the entire shape and we really appreciate it and uh, I'm looking at this this one in particular right now it's so gorgeous and it has all these little marks on it but it really doesn't matter <laughs> it's incredibly beautiful it's the lotus and it has all the spiritual magnificence and that's the same with us so it isn't it isn't really time to worry about what people think of what you're doing um, it's time to strike out with your imagination come up with massively new archetypes new ways of doing things and see how you see what you can do and that's the new archetype don't worry about what other people think about it and um, and even in that whole partnership thing, not worrying about what um, a partner or a potential partner thinks of all the new creativity and the new joy that you're coming up with because you're more full and more capable of offering. And if that partner that you're with is not jiving with exactly, it'd be good to uh, hope for them and encourage them to to develop their own creativity and light. And if it's just not working, then you are big and joyous enough to attract any kind of beautiful light into your life. So just be open. This is a really extremely changing environment and uh, we are 
holding on for dear life and at the same time taking our overwhelming feelings and turning them into uh, feelings of big joy, big creativity, big genius, new ideas, new playfulness, new archetypes, and we're also taking our feelings of uncertainty and helping them make let us determine our family life and our uh, partnership life and putting new urgency inside of that. So take the urgency, use it for good. I love you so much. You are beautiful. Please be blessed and be generous with your love today.